Good, 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 good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. I hope everyone is doing great, guys. If you did not set your things nicely, it's time for you to look at that. Go back, try to check uh, if maybe you're following your strategies, if maybe something is wrong so that you can improve you see so uh but without wasting your time guys you know what to, uh, you know what to do don't forget to smash the like subscribe share with your friends also the, the notification button so that you don't miss our like uh, our uh, afternoon live session uh, before the market open let's say new york open so that we can check What's really happening on NASDAQ and US status and stuff like that, you see? Don't forget that actually we have a special. Uh, <clears throat> that special is uh, it's going to end this month. And guys, it's from $200 uh, to $100. That is mentorship plus uh, VIP signals. That mentorship is actually yearly or we can just say it's 12 months. So on mentorship is where I'm going to assist you, try to help you. Uh, with your ups and downs until you get better signals you know it's just signals that you're going to uh, receive them in the group in the telegram uh, group by the way so if you want to talk to me there there there's my whatsapp you can see uh, the whatsapp is there a uh, bitcoin is also available uh, as payment it's also available you can use that if maybe you have that if you don't have that you can use paypal or maybe my south african uh, followers they can use banks uh, local banks right so uh, let's see what's really happening on 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 bitcoin as we start with bitcoin i hope yesterday you did check uh, my weekly analysis and what we see is i see that uh, actually the market did not really change much i don't really see uh, much change uh, here uh, what i see i see that the market uh, still has this sort of resistance there the market is still resisting so what does that mean it means that this resistant is strong because the market has been there for some time you see you can see that this uh, resistant has been there for some time and which means it's actually pushing the market to the upside but even if when we check actually the the sorry it pushes the market to the lower side but since the market is really sold like aggressively uh, going to, uh, to the lower side we see that it seems like the market doesn't want to go uh, lower anymore so maybe maybe along the way during the day during the week maybe we might see the market trying to change the trend but even though even if maybe we might see a breakout there we still have an outer resistance which is very strong by the way and we have to be like extra careful uh, with that because if you forget about it uh, it means it means uh, the market might push up and you can just keep buying to find out that the market will bounce back and push the lower side so if maybe you want to take a chance and buy maybe if the market is going to break this area just know that around this area we're going to have a resistance so that resistance might be respected and you might see the market go into the lower side unless if the market is going to break that area if the market is going to break that area maybe we'll see the market go into the upside that is possible that is like 100 percent possible so uh, because the market has been like going down guys and remember next week is the last month uh, is the last week of this month so that week i think yeah that week also we i think it's next week we're going to have interest rates if it's not that week, it means it's the other one. You can just go and check on Forex Factory or on investing.com. So that might also push things to the, like, I don't know whether up or down, but things might be aggressive. Uh, but I'm hoping that the market will start to recover slowly. But what do we see on Bitcoin? We still see that the market is still on downtrend. So which means we just have to look for uh, structures or pos where maybe we can say, it's our time to do what it's our time to do what to sell but besides that we can't see we see any bullish move on a downtrend nope we're not going to do that because we don't really go against the trend you see so what do we see now we are on german 40 german 40 german 30 dex 40 it's all one thing guys so what do we see here is we see a very nice structure which is which is bearish 
uh, you can see it's downtrending it's downtrending and we have a nicely we have a very nice resistance there that nice resistance there is there to show us that oh when the market reaches this wall we can just call that a wall it respects that so the market pushes that and bounces back pushes there bounces back so and we see that the market gave us so many clues uh, along that uh, this whatever whatever along the way so it means that yes even now we can expect the market to do the same thing the market is there you see the market is exact, exactly around that resistance which means yes we might have we might, we we, we actually have a, a sell pending order there if the market will keep uh, pushing lower it will activate our order and then we might start to eat but there is a an a chance that the market might also break this area and it might close above that resistance and we can start start to say maybe the market wants to uh, recover then we will see the market push into the upside why because we follow the structure we're not going to fight the market if it breaks that resistance once it breaks we will say oh maybe now it's time for us to do it to look for buy positions currently we are on a downtrend it means and we see that the market is respecting that it's respecting that nicely that's why we still continue with the downtrend yes we understand the market is oversold and stuff like that but uh, too much knowledge aside we have to follow the structure the structure it's everything simple as that so we don't have to complicate things so now we see that the market is going down and maybe later on this will be activated or in few minutes or hours maybe then maybe we'll start to eat but they but don't forget that it's still monday the market might still go up and down you see so let's go straight on on gold on gold guys i think the structure is very straightforward simple uh, what we see is we actually had a nice nice very nice downtrend you can see that we had a very nice downtrend uh, the market was going down nicely so now uh, just because we like keep selling 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 now the market just broke out of that downtrend you see then after that break uh, uh, downtrend is broken we see a nice retest guess what i said uh, actually in the group i said you know what just because the market just broke out of this a uh, nice resistant i just said okay okay maybe you saw this if you watched my previous video i sent a nice buy pending order the market was still going down by the way guess what the market just bounced back if they are still holding the trades, obviously they are eating i'm talking about people who paid guys i'm talking about people who paid uh, to be in the group unfortunately on live session we can't just share everything i will share only uh, actually nasdaq just to show you that yes it's possible guys it's possible uh, it's possible so this i think is quite simple but you can't just jump on it now you can't just jump on it now what you can do is you can just say maybe if it gives you a rejection maybe you can have a nice entry if you see uh, the market trying to bounce back again because we are on a very nice uptrend currently but this is still fresh uptrend the market can still do its thing before uh, giving us a very nice structure the market can still try to consolidate before we see a very nice push you see but uh, the proof is there we, we can see that we actually eating uh, i hope you see that you see so we don't really have to fight this let's push the next one this is what we do actually every day if you don't believe just go on my previous live streams here on youtube since march i think uh, we were just going live monday to friday i think if maybe we have uh, days that i missed it's only maybe three or two it's very very few days you see so let's go on on us oil let's see what's really happening on us oil on us oil i think the structure is also quite straightforward simple what do we see is the market is actually pushing to the upside you see the market is actually pushing to the upside but around this area the market created something like a resistance there so what i'm waiting for i'm waiting for the market maybe to touch this area and break it then we can say okay we can have a buy above that area or maybe the market might create something like this then we can say you see what 
the market is now creating a very nice uptrend but currently nope i don't think maybe that it's something yes we can see that it's a it's an uptrend but if you already missed the market here and most of us we did not know that this thing will bounce back there it means we're just waiting for the third touch which maybe might happen in few hours whatever then maybe we can start to see a very nice and clear uptrend. But besides that, we just need to relax. We just need to relax because we also have an area that we can call a resistant around this area, you see. So there's a possibility that the market might also break that. So we have two options. If it breaks, we can have, we can have a nice buy above that resistant area. I think you should learn about drawing these lines because they really help. And you know what I love about them? You don't really confuse so many lines on your chart. It's easy to see things easier on, on your chart than to draw like 10 lines or different uh, indicators on your chart, which is, I don't think, I think it's not really good. Uh, actually, to me personally, I don't think maybe it's good uh, because sometimes, most of the time, it will just confuse you, you see. Most of the time, you will uh, get confused. So what we see uh, currently, we are on a US 30, uh, Dow Jones. We are on Dow Jones. It's, German, uh, it's, it's US 30, guys, not German 30. It's US 30. You can see US Wall Street 30. Yeah, so what's really happening, guys? It's I love what I see. Where you see, when we follow, uh, we follow the trend, things tend to be simple. Just look at this area, look at this area, look at this area. Every arrow that I point, see how big is that move there. Just look those candlesticks. What happened? It means the market is actually respecting. It's actually respecting that trend. So why don't you follow that? Because that is the simplest way to trade, actually. You see, so every time when the market reaches this area, uh, the market mostly, it just go crazy, you see. So currently, yes, that, um, let's say last week, the market reached this area. Then we saw a aggressive sell-off, by the way. So again, around Friday, or say, I think maybe here it was last of last week. Uh, so, but here... We see that actually the market is creating something. The market created something. You see that? That is something that we can call, uh, sorry, we can call a resistance. That resistance is inside our downtrend. We already understand that the market is still going down. So that is not going to confuse us. So we already know that, okay, this resistance uh, here, it might still push the market to go to the lower side. That is called inner trend inner trend or you can just call it inner resistant or support whatever but we see that okay between that area we we see the market respecting that so now if you still remember the market sold aggressively guess what now we have another area the market went back again and if you still remember yesterday i did I talk about this area then the market is there again and it seems like it's respecting that area again let me just reduce the opacity so we see that the market is there. The market came back exactly there. But this was a bullish move, by the way. Now we see that the market seems like it's respecting that. Too. So it means there is a possibility for the market to keep going lower. Do you see that? Why? Because we are still on a downtrend. So that move is not really new to us. It's not really new. If I can try to point those areas, you can see we have something like this. Do you see that? Do you see that? Let me just increase the opacity. Some of you maybe you don't really see nicely. So, or maybe let me change this, uh, but you see. So, you see that we have this area, then the market created this sort of a, a resistance there. We also had the same thing here, but this one, the breakout was crazy. We can also push this to that side. Let me just push that. Because sometimes the market creates all these things just to confuse us. You can see that, you see. So you, we see that, oh, the market actually uh, created also this thing here. We also see that around that area. Even if we go back, you're still going to see similar moves. And if you you, you, you were taught nicely, uh, if you were taught correctly, you're not going to miss this type of moves. You see, that's why I say uh, you can just join the team. There, there is the special which is going to end this month. 
there it's a special you can just post the video there it's my whatsapp telegram talk to me if you want to be the part of the team uh, because whatever that i'm showing you here i'm showing the results of me uh, i already did the practice i already understand this thing i can identify these things without seconds you see so this shows us that you know what yes there is a room for the market to do what to go to the lower side this area we're going to mark that now from now on so there is a chance that the market might start to do something like this before pushing to the lower side or maybe before breaking this resistant and push the upside but we can't say the market will push the upside uh, before the market breaks this outer resistance because it's been there and the market has been respecting that you see currently this week i think let's see just this week i think uh, you can avoid this type of move. I don't think they will happen this week. What are we going to see? We might see some sort of consolidation because yes, we the market is like seriously oversold. So I don't think maybe we're going to have some crazy sell. Maybe the market might consolidate before that happens or maybe before the market pushes to the upside. So we just have to also use common sense. So yes, the market is crashing, but the market won't just crash like... Uh, the uh, end of the like like something's crazy happening already whatever that's happening everyone is aware of that there's war there's inflation there's interest rate going to the moon all those things are pandemic so those things when they start to recover slowly let's say maybe pandemic if we try to reduce whatever the numbers of uh, cases the market will start to bounce back then they start to, to, to reduce the, the, the lockdowns. Um, maybe, let's say, uh, Russia and Ukraine, they stop whatever they're doing. Let's say maybe things, they will just get back slowly. And once you start to think, the market will be here. The market will be just doing that. Then the market will be here and you will be saying, oh, I saw last week the market was here. And just because you use multiple strategies, sometimes you missed that. You see so please please find someone who's going to teach you forex not even if it's not me just find someone who's going to help you with trading because that might change the way you see things now i see the market is still on bearish move i'm still expecting some consolidation moves but still bearish on us 30. we'll say that maybe the market is going up after we see the market pushing up simple as that you see so don't forget to smash the like don't forget to smash the like don't forget to smash the subscribe button, by the way. Uh, thanks to everyone who already subscribed, guys. You, I, I thank you very much, guys. I really, really thank you. So that's why I also made this special because I, I know there's people who maybe want to join me, but maybe the price is a bit high. It's not really high, by the way, because the information that I'm going to share with you is something that is going to stuck with you for, like, for the rest of our life. And you know knowledge. 1 plus 1 is just going to stay 1 plus 1 until. So the knowledge that I'm going to share may be something that you don't have currently. And maybe that might help and improve the way you trade. Currently, we are on NASDAQ. We see that the market, you see when you have the, tra the trends, guys, it's easier. I'm just saying, see, now we are on NASDAQ. Since we have a downtrend lines here, what I'm going to say is we are on a downtrend simple that thing takes people like 10 minutes to identify do you know that it takes people like way way too long uh, people to under, to identify where the trend is going once they see this small bullish move they start to get confused but just because we understand these things we know that oh actually we've been selling uh i don't i no longer remember when did we take a buy on on nasdaq you see, because the market is on a downtrend, we follow the trend. We don't really go against the trend. You see, so what do we see? Exactly as I explained, we see that we are on a downtrend. So, but we see that we also had an area last week. Let me just reduce that to this uh, because I think that might be simpler. So what we see is the market actually, uh, since it was going down, uh, since it was going down, let me show you some other areas so that you can understand. I, I'm not just throwing those areas for no reason. You can see that area. It's also here. I will just stop there because I think uh, maybe you will understand. So 
what we see here is it's quite similar to this it's quite similar to this it's quite similar we see the market going down then the market will come back again around that area and from that area the market might keep going down yes there is a possibility for the market to push the upside don't say when if maybe you see the market going up don't say oh i saw this guy he said the market was going to go down now the market is going up yes guys there's a room for error we don't have to be perfect you see but what we see is mostly the whole month it seems like we never been wrong i mean with the trend do you see which means yes we should just continue with the trend so this structure that's happening here look here look here look this one look this one look the recovery now we see the recovery look the sell off now might be the sell off maybe the market might come back again and then the market might still do the same thing you see so it's quite similar to to this these areas they to me they are just quite similar i can see the market start to consolidate before uh, going down you see even here we have the same thing so that is just a small consolidation before the market continues with the trend the trend is to go in where it's going down so unfortunately the market won't just go down without recovering yes the market just recovers 10 percent a, a let me just show you the market just recovers 10 percent 90 percent the market will go down recover 10 percent 90 percent the market will go down if you did not understand that by now it means you don't really understand the trend look there we have so many areas where the market was going up we have so many area where the market was pushing to the upside but guess what just because the market moves 90 percent of the time going down it means 90 percent obviously is the one that is going to dominate and that is called downtrend currently on nasdaq what's really happening here so you should understand that okay we are still on that cell don't just try to guess don't try to guess we will start to think uh, otherwise uh, when the market actually breaks our resistant this resistant if it's broken we're going to say oh the first counter trend line is broken uh, but we don't have to jump on the market when this outer one is broken it's where we're going to say okay okay now maybe something's going to happen that resistance is broken it means maybe the market is no longer uh, try to push the lower side maybe the market wants to change the trend maybe we might see the market pushing the upside simple as that how easy is that guys that's what you want actually in this trading career you should able to identify whatever that you want to identify and you should know when to wait know when to trade know when to relax know when to get out and know when just to do just know when like to do it nothing if you start to understand those things it means you understand the market structure you see so uh, by the way without wasting your time uh, don't forget to smash the like subscribe share with your friends if you want to be in the team i already showed you like maybe three or four times and if you want to be in the team do, those are my contacts you can check them whatsapp me telegram me this is kenzo extra what forex so i hope to see you later on um, on the live session i hope to see you on the live session Please don't forget to smash that notification so that you don't miss that. Thank you very much. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. Bye.